Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. Welcome to the mid-monthly love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and Cross Watchers. I'm going to start off with an Archangel Power Tarot card to give a feel for the energies for love, romance, and relationships. Mid-December through mid-January 2020 for Aries. What is the advice and guidance, please? All right, Aries, we have the King of Wands. Interesting, okay. So keep your eye on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success. Genuine concern for others. But the King of Wands is King of Wands is someone who is a very passionate, someone who's devoted to a cause. Um, can definitely have an intense dramatic flair. <laughs> All right, so let's pull some tarot cards to get a feel the situation in regards to this king of wands what is the main energy here with the king of wands for aries please for love and romance oh all right we have the hierophant so the sign of taurus all right and what is the situation surrounding this we have the strength card all right two more please the situation surrounding this hierophant so the hierophant can definitely be talking about someone who serves as like a spiritual teacher yeah we have the lovers so we have all major arcanas so far besides the king of wands um the lovers decisions from the heart a union uniting of energies masculine and feminine and one more, please. What is the situation in regards to this? Okay, interesting. Wow, we have the Hermit. So we have all major arcanas. Um, this situation is definitely one of a very deep spiritual nature. One with probably a lot of lessons. Could be definitely challenges. We do have the Strength card here. Um, the Hermit is the sign of Virgo. We have Hierophant Taurus. But with strength, Leo energy, the lovers, Gemini, this is asking to unite the energies together, a blending of energies. So whether this is a personal thing or a relationship, one that is definitely very powerful, but it is about a uniting coming together, a union, and it's about heart-based decisions as well. So this is really asking you to dive deep, deep into your heart. Make decisions from the heart. I want to get a better idea of what's going on here. So um, the Hierophant can speak of a level of commitment, doing things by the book. All right, let's clarify the Hierophant energy. Guidance for Aries, please, with that Hierophant energy. All right, we have the Six of Swords. So what else do we have here for the lover? Some of you, uh, there's a need to do things differently. Um, maybe you've been feeling really committed, but you know, you're know you not getting the same back. Okay, definitely some kind of a conflict here with that Five of Swords. Um, let's look at the lover's energy. Yeah, we have the Ace of Swords. So some kind of conflict here needs to be resolved. Whether this is an internal thing, you know, within you um, in regards to a relationship. But with the lovers and the Ace of Swords saying here, you hold the power, you hold the key. The power to create or to destroy. But this is like transcending this conflict. So conflicts, healing them, moving beyond conflicts. The lovers speaking from the heart, speaking truth. Okay, the hermit is asking to go really deep here. Let's clarify the hermit energy. Maybe the strength to, you know, really deal with this conflict or this matter. Let's clarify the hermit. Okay, yeah, we have the knight of swords. So I think this is asking you to really go deep or go deep with this person and to transcend any conflicts to bring you know head and heart together because with, with the lovers you have the masculine you have the feminine you have logic you have intuition um 
Knight of Swords, I think with all this Swords energy, someone here needs to really speak their truth and speak from the heart. I think um, standing in, you know, your power in that way will help to heal these conflicts. But I want to pull some Oracle cards for guidance and see what else here comes up. Let's clarify. Okay, yeah, we have, look, past life relationship. You have known each other before. So there is definitely something very karmic about this situation. A lot of lessons here, especially with the Hierophant, because that can be someone who is like a spiritual teacher and you go through a lot of experiences together that are up and down, but it's for both of your growth, right? So past life relationship, you've known each other before. This is very, very deep. All right, and let's pull one from Whispers of Love for Aries. Physical touch is important. That came flying out. For some of us, nothing is more important than a tender touch. This might include a pat on the back or giving a hug to someone who needs it. So yeah, I feel like there is a real strong need here to transcend any conflicts. For some of you, that might include speaking your truth, but also bringing in that touch, just getting close to somebody, um, opening up, especially with the lovers. This is saying like there's an opportunity here to bring this union together, but it's going to take a lot of work and effort. And I mean, at the bottom, we have have patience. Love is patient and kind always. So I do feel like, yeah, patience with the strength card, a lot of compassion is needed. This conflict can be overcome, but there's a strong need here to really um, move forward with grace, kindness, compassion, really stepping into truth and power here. With the Hermit energy, someone may have like a really difficult time communicating. Um, but there is a strong need to really go within to transcend whatever obstacles are here. Because the Hierophant can speak of obstacles. It is a five, so it is a challenge here. But one that can be overcome. Um, and I feel like this time period, especially because we have a full moon in Cancer at the end of December... And that's going to bring up a lot of emotions and a lot of things that are hidden to the surface. Family matters. So I do feel like this is something that can be overcome, but with a lot of patience and compassion on both sides. I hope that you guys have an amazing month ahead, Aries. If you're interested in any of my services or you want to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, all that information is posted below in the description box. Take care.